Welcome everybody to SWF Shootout. We are in Cajun country here in New Orleans, Louisiana. And we've got a fantastic card for you here today. The Lone Star Champion, Maverick Champion, everybody in action. But we're going to start things off with two guys who haven't had the greatest go as of late. And that's going to be Evelyn Reeves and Lance Romance. Now, as I said, these guys uh, not having the greatest go. Both men are over on Revolver, and if you're unfamiliar with Revolver, that is a show where we have of the roster win-wise. Win we have 30 people on our roster, so the lower 15. And uh, on the first episode of Revolver, we had uh, Evelyn Reeves lost out to Daniel Harris, unfortunately, for Evelyn Reeves. To be fair, Evelyn Reeves has been in the mix quite a bit uh, as he's been taking on Jay Wolf a lot in main events of shootout. Um, even though, even though uh, Jay Wolf is in that rivalry right now uh, with Kid Hades. Evelyn Reeves has been been involved. He's been in the main or in the main picture quite a bit, um, and Evelyn Reeves did lose to Ventura, who started out on Revolver, brand new in SWF, uh, taking the place of James Frost. James Frost, excuse me, James is that is actually retired from SWF for now. And um, he recommended, he, he kind of vouched for his replacement in Ventura. And so now Ventura's taken his place. Um, Evelyn Reeves does have one win under his belt. And that was part of a, or of the, I should say, Freaks versus Faces matchup where he teamed up with Zach Graves, Lord Draven, and Kid Hades and took on Leo McKay, Hunter King, Lance, Romance, and Vice, and they got the win there. Lance Romance, on the other hand, as he makes his way to the ring, God, Evelyn Reeves is a freak for sure. As Lance makes his way down to the and ring, he uh, hasn't had the, the best. I mean, he hasn't had a win here. He is officially, officially 0-6. Um, he is actually tied with Evelyn Reeves for the most losses, unfortunately. Um, so far, Keith Alexander, James Gaines, and Lance Romance are the only three men to not have any wins. The main difference is Keith Alexander and James Gaines are in tag teams. They have their tag team matches. So unfortunately for Lance here in SWF, uh, not won a singles matchup just yet. He lost to Ryan Adams on the last episode of Revolver. He lost to Siler Jordan in the main event of episode one of Revolver, and it's it's just not been the the greatest uh, the greatest career or the greatest season. I'll say that the greatest season for Lance Romance. So um, he lost to Mason Foster. He has lost to Seb Abbott. That was in the mix of Seb's rivalry with Jay. So we're looking at we're looking for Lance to pick things up here. That's for sure. We want Lance um, in other federations. He's doing quite well. He just can't get his feet underneath him here in SWF for some reason. So coming off of the second episode of Revolver, Evelyn Reeves has lost his match. Lance lost his match. So it's anybody's game right now. And Lance, so far, quick to have, oh my goodness, quick to have the advantage. And out to the outside goes Evelyn Reeves. And the ref starts counting. Oh, I thought Lance was going to stay in the ring, but comes out. Big scoop slam there on the outside. Reeves dodges. Oh. Uh-oh. Lance, as you can tell, a lot bigger. Um, then Evelyn Reeves as he bounces his head off the off the uh, ring apron there. 
Another big scoop slam. The ref is up to four, I believe. And Reeve, uh, excuse me, Lance just taking out all his frustrations here on Evelyn Reeves. Into the ring we come now as the ref stops counting. Lance a little taller, definitely uh, uh, bigger, but Evelyn Reeves is a shifty dude. If you just can't tell that by looking at him. Look at this, though. German suplex. Oh, into the pin, but he was looked like he was hung up there on the ropes. So the ref breaks it up. Quickly down for the pin now. And a two count, or just a one count, excuse me. And Lance wants to know what the deal is. Legs taken out from underneath him. This might be the momentum starter that Evelyn Reeves needs. Oh, says quiet. Oh, and a pullback neck breaker. Right there on the Blackwire Authentic logo, making all your t-shirts for all your favorite calls. Quite a few of them here in SWF and all across call. Side Russian leg sweep. Lance back in control here. Center of the ring. Uh-oh. Drops him neck first onto that knee and quickly down for the pin. One, two, no. Just a two count. Lance can't believe it. But he's looking to end it right now as Reeves slowly makes his way up to his feet. Kick to the midsection. Oh, boy. He's got him up. Oh, Reeves. Big right hands. Lance has to drop him. And look at Reeves. Got him up. Pile driver. Pile. Oh, man. Is that going to put Lance away? No. Just a two count. Reeves looked to throw all of his remaining strength into that nice move there with the double knees kick to the midsection oh my goodness those hard and quick kicks to the head of Lance Romance <coughs> elbow to the chest now and stomping away uh oh big fist drop right to the face Oh, elbow to the top of the head. Reeves not ready to give up. And a big super kick. Style front kick. Lance was using the ropes there. Now it backed into the corner. Nice reversal from Lance. Oh, and a poke to the eye. Some snap jabs. Got him up into a back body drop. Nice move. Center of the ring again. Vertical suplex. Oh, oh my goodness. Suplex pile driver from Lance Romance. That has got to be it. The ref has got to count to three, and he does. Holy cow. Lance Romance getting a victory. His first singles victory here in SWF and did it in fantastic fashion. My goodness. Suplex. In Green SWF, ladies and gentlemen, Lance Romance. Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black make their way down to the ring. Oh my, here come the Sons of Carnage. And they are just wailing away here at the Fallen Kingdom. And I don't blame them. Frustrations have been mounting for quite some time. Fallen Kingdom and the Sons of Carnage met up last week. Fallen Kingdom getting the victory. And they also got the victory at the last pay-per-view. So these guys, uh, Sons of Carnage, not happy with the way things have been going lately. And they're looking to make that change. Oh, Bruiser Brad in the ring. Come on, ref, get him out of there. Oh, man, nice scoop slam there from Malcolm Black. These guys will meet up once again at the pay-per-view, which will be Thin Red Line. We are bringing it back. Nice shot there from Jesse Newman. Oof. And down goes Black. So... 
these teams have been going at it since we started this season. So who knows what in the world is going on with them. End of, nice reversal there. Back into the corner of the Sons of Carnage, and here comes James Gaines the third. Big knee right to, oh, and a shot to the back of the head. On uh, the last episode of Revolver, James Gaines there in the ring in the red shorts faced off against Bruiser Brad, and it was no contest. No contest as um, Bruiser Brad, obviously twice the size of James Gaines, got the victory and of things for that right there. Big shot by Malcolm Black. Bruiser Brad is twice the weight, uh, at least a quarter of the height, just so big and so strong that uh, he kind of overwhelmed James Gaines as, as we expected, of course. Into the corner goes Brad and a shot to the back, double knees to the back of Brad by Gaines. I mean, just look at the size difference. The boots alone. Oh, this a little sneaky maneuver there from James Gaines as the ref kind of nudged Brad under the rope, causing a, a, a rope break. And look at Gaines. You keep the giant down. This is how you do it. Shots to the head. Keep him down. Keep him from getting any offense going on. And just as I say that, commentators curse. Brad takes James out. Into the corner now. Oh, nice reversal from James and a kick. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Nice move there. Malcolm Black wanted the tag, but Gaines from stopped James it as he kick. stomps on the hand and kicks Look Brad. Hey, 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 Newman. Oh, my Gaines goodness. Gaines got a, a, good, nice a, a move. good grip on Brad in that Black little exchange. The tag, but Nice to see James that. As he stomps on the and here comes Brad, Brad as he's hey, getting he's locked up in this my Rings goodness. of Saturn type move. Just a uh, uh, sea hair away from being under the rope. But he's going to get those elbows on the top of the head of Jesse Newman. Big headbutt puts Newman down center of the ring. My goodness. Black, though, ready to come in, and he does. No double team moves for either of these teams as Newman kicks Black away. DDT center of the ring. One, two, no. Just a two count. We've seen uh, a Newman put people away with that DDT before. Legs, though, get taken out from underneath him. As I said, the pay-per-view coming up will be thin red line. Cutter! That's it. That's it. Let me cut off my statement. That is going to be it. And Brad comes in and breaks up the pin. Uh-oh. Lots of shots going on. And a shoulder block sends Jesse Newman across the ring. Get him out of here, ref. Both of these guys are down. Jesse. First one up to his feet. And Brad makes him pay. Now he gets a shot to the side of the head from Malcolm Black. Into the corner. Good move there by Newman, but a kick to the face. Big clothesline there from Newman. Not going to get over there, though. Brad wanted the tag. And just rubbing that forearm, that arm brace he's got on his forearm. Going to send Malcolm into the corner. And in comes James Gaines. Look at this. Look at this. Boom, knee to the chin, kick to the back of the head, right into a Northern Lights, and Brad breaks it up. Look at Newman with the ball buster. And Brad is out, ref. Do something with this man. Into the corner goes Malcolm Black in a reversal. And here comes the gyrating neck breaker. Working over that arm now. My goodness. 
What a double team move that was by Gaines and Newman. As now, uh oh, Gaines is in tr the tree of woe. That's not good. What is Malcolm Black doing? I don't know if Newman, if that was the uh, best choice to disturb the, or distract the ref. Malcolm Black, coast to coast, boots to the side of the head. And Black is even writhing in pain a little bit as he holds his lower back. He's going to pull Newman away from the ropes and go for the pin. Um, excuse me, Gaines. Two, and Jesse Newman breaks it up. Oh, neck breaker to Newman. He's going to roll out of the ring, and that is not going to be good for James Gaines, though he gets that nice arm drag. Shot to the side of the head. Into the corner, but nobody is there, and he misses the running knee and a spinning forearm from Malcolm Black. If I'm Fallen Kingdom, I'm doing my best to put this away right now with Jesse Newman on the outside. Elbow by Gaines. Into the corner. Oh. And now James Gaines goes over the top. Uh-oh. Oh, and Malcolm Black cuts him down. Pulling his legs out from underneath him. And Black now tossing Gaines into, back into the ring. Oh. Gaines might have the upper hand. Nope. Nice suplex there. Drops Gaines right on his head. Uh-oh. Newman's back up to his feet. But Malcolm Black is up. Shooting star in the pin. One, two, three. Jesse Newman unable to get there in time. And Malcolm Black and the Fallen Kingdom get the victory. Here are nice winners. shooting star press Malcolm from Malcolm Black. And, and these the guys winner, are fired up going into Fallen. Thin Red Line, as I mentioned. That will be our pay-per-view this month. But your winners, Bruiser Brad and Malcolm Black. Well, these fans are fired up, and they have every right to be because right now they are about to see their Lone Star Champion SDC still going at it with Duke Zenda. And SDC opened up our uh, shootout episode last week and got the victory. And there is the Lone Star Champion. A couple of episodes ago, SDC got a victory over Brett Storm. Now, if you've been following along, Brett Storm in his own right has been just tearing up the roster. Will he get his revenge here tonight? I don't know if that is going to happen. What would possibly happen between Duke Zenda and SDC? But the last time... Brett Storm and SDC faced off. Duke Zenda came out, tried to cause a distraction. Brett Storm is next in line for a shot at the SWF Championship, at the Lone Star Championship. He wanted to prove his case, and he did just that. So the championship committee and the higher-ups have given Brett Storm this opportunity. He is number one contender behind Duke Zenda and whatever happens at Thin Red Line, Brett Storm is next for that shot. So he's getting a good look at SDC the last couple of weeks. Um, as I said, um, SDC and Brett Storm have faced off, I believe, twice and SDC has won both of those matches. Now, well, I mean, who, who knows what's going to happen continuing on. Does F SDC just have Brett Storm's number? Is Brett Storm learning from these encounters? Because a thin red line, if SDC defeats Duke, then he's got Brett Storm. Brett Storm has got SDC to contend with. Duke Zenda, on the other hand, won that championship 
at um, at Gold Rush and that triple threat, but then lost it the next month at St at Southern Stampede to SDC. So SDC's held the title for about three weeks, roughly, um, and Brett is next in line, learning what he can. I'm hoping uh, Brett has shown me a lot. He's shown championship committee quite a bit and they believe he's ready they believe he is next in line Brett Storm decorated in many other federations not um, always having the best seasons here in SWF or PWA or whatever we can call it at the time but he has uh, proven his case he has made his case this season for sure Brett slowly making his way up to the ring now. Not in any hurry, but we've seen the elbow many, many times just straight up put people down. We saw him put that elbow to Elliot uh, Collins a handful of episodes back three or four times. I'm surprised Elliot could even eat correctly after that. Red Storm, ready to go. He's he's ready to go. The fire burns in Brett Storm on the inside. Not a lot. Not a man who shows a lot of emotion. Um, possibly he gets to. Oh, oh my goodness! What a shot there! SDC came flying out of the gate, and Storm takes his legs out from underneath him, dodging the knee. And delivering a knee breaker, my goodness. And a dragon screw. Nice move there from Brett. SDC might have come into this thing a, a, a little on his uh, high on his horse. Brett Storm is unpredictable, folks. Unpredictable and undeniable in the fact that he will turn on you like a cobra. Stomping on the elbow is SDC. But SDC's no slouch, the hero of wrestling, uh, is the Lone Star champion, for crying out loud. So he's got to have some sort of tenacity and, 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 and passion. Big elbow and an insecurity to the back of the head. SDC's got Storm up and a nice quick scoop slam there. Big right hand by Storm, and he hits him with a right forearm gonna drag the champ to the center of the ring stomp uh oh kidney shots and he's gonna follow it up big shot right to the side of the head we saw that many a time as he is wrenching away double knees to the back storm definitely wants to get his hands on that championship Oh, and a big single leg drop kick. I would say get his hands on the gold as he hits a dragon screw, but our championships aren't really gold. They're more of a rustic brown color. They might have been gold at one time. Big knee. Jeez. That knee landed so flush on SDC. But here it is. Falcon Arrow. Falcon Arrow as he goes for the pin. One, two, no. A kick out out two. That knee hit SDC so clean on the chin. But speaking of knees and chins. Oh my gosh, Brett Storm sidestepped it. Slaps him away. Kick to the midsection now. Big elbow. It came out of nowhere just like I said it was going to. He goes for the pin on the Lone Star Champion. And a two count. And just a two count. Oh my goodness. Good God Almighty. He might have dislocated that jaw. Jawbreaker. And a single leg drop kick as we speak about jaws here. Another jawbreaker. These guys are not going to be able to eat. Missing the clothesline. Shot by SDC, uh oh, hanging him up on that second rope. 
Look at it. Oh my goodness. That ring rope right across the ear. Oh boy. Knee into a neck breaker by the champ, and he goes right after him, not letting Brett Storm breathe at all. Moonsault into a headbutt, and he goes down for the pin on Brett Storm and just a two count there. This is quite the matchup here on Shootout. This is almost pay-per-view caliber as we see SDC again with the knee into the neck breaker. Brett not getting up quickly after that, but delivers a neck, or excuse me, a jawbreaker into a clothesline. Oh man, I'm getting out of breath with these two guys. Storm has clearly been studying tape. Oh, kick to the midsection. Uh-oh. We're about to see SDC take flight up and over and right onto his feet. Storm watching film on the champ. Getting a feel, getting a, a go of, of how things may play out as SDC goes for the pin after that over the top and SDC wins. SDC gets the victory after that over the top rope diving maneuver. Oh boy. Here comes the money man, Duke Zenda. SDC's telling him to bring it. Oh, he sneaks up behind him. Big shot by the challenger. Holy cow. It, Duke is fired up and ready for this pay-per-view, folks. That's for sure. Well, I cannot wait until Thin Red Line to see what happens with SDC and Duke Zenda. That, oh man, these guys are ready to go. Making his way but right now, we have got a triple threat matchup. John Robb. Excuse me, the savage John Robb. The man went and got himself some new tattoos. Looking jacked as ever. John Robb's also been on, on you know, quite a tear. Jay Wolf is our, our Maverick champion. He's on top with the most wins with eight. SDC, not including this last one with seven. Brett Storm. with five wins and a Savage right behind him with four. So, And then Duke right behind him with four. John Robb's up there, man. John Robb is up there and wins. He should be uh, fighting for the title, but he, uh, he kind of got screwed out of that, I think, when he was supposed to face S or Duke and SDC entered himself into that. As I mentioned earlier in the episode, Ventura, the beast Ventura, uh, taking the place of James Frost at his request and at his recommendation. We saw Ventura on Revolver. He took on Evelyn Reeves in the last one and got the victory. So he got his first victory um, in SWF. John Robb, let's see, when the last time we saw John Robb. He faced off against Mason Foster two episodes or so ago. Got the victory there. He's only had one loss. And it was at the hands of Brett Storm. So, again, Brett Storm really making uh, his case uh, meaningful and powerful. But powerful is the name of the game here in this matchup. John Robb on the outside. The Beast Ventura is fired up, and he is ready to go. And huge if you missed out on his matchup on the last episode of Revolver. Go check it out. Hit their opponent in this triple threat matchup is someone else who's not had the greatest season, and that is Hunter King with one win and four losses. He lost to Siler Jordan on the last episode of Shootout. He did defeat Elliot Collins in the first episode of Shoot, or excuse me, Revolver. In the first episode of, Re episode of Revolver, he won against Elliot Collins. There, he's picking up his first victory, but not having 
the greatest season. That can all change, though. Win a match, win another match, win another match, and things start going your way, that's for sure. But with these two monsters in there, John Robb's about the same height as Hunter King. But the man is humongous. The man is so big. And then, of course, you've got uh, you've got the beast out there, which I'm not sure who has the advantage. John Robb has all the momentum, but Ventura clearly has the body size and probably the strength over both of these guys. So we'll have to see what happens. Hunter King. Hunter King, baby. He is ready to go. He's ready to prove himself, and damn it, there's no other way. There's no better way than to get in the ring with two of the biggest stars physically in this ma in this uh, in SWF right now. But here we go, both guys so far on John Robin. Oh, Hunter King with the big kicks. Big slam. Oh, and quickly for the pin. <laughs> and uh, Ventura breaks it up. John Robb going after the beast now. Crossing him up into a neck breaker. Stomping on Ventura now. Working over that arm. Hunter King wisely letting these two guys battle it out. Oh, might have been taking a little too long. Look at this power slam by John Robb. Hunter King gets out of it. Oh, and a big clothesline. Uh-oh. Ventura's got King by the neck. What a reversal there from Hunter King. All the way up in the Gorilla Press, and he drops down into a DDT. Neck breaker by John Robb, though. He's going to pick Hunter King up by the neck and throw him like a sack of potatoes and takes out the legs of the beast as Hunter King rolls out. John Robb looks to have the, all the advantage now. Jeez, that commentator's curse. Every time I say something good about somebody, they get reversed. But John Robb does have the momentum coming in here, and he looks that way. Oh, Ventura going after Hunter King and paying for it. Onto the ropes, and over the top he goes. Oh, the ref almost got taken out there by John Robb. He goes over the top rope and to the outside, and Ventura's going to follow him. Back in. Big shot to the gut. Nice reversal from Hunter King. Remember, triple threat. There basically are no disqualifications as he goes for the pin. Just a two count. John Robb back up to his feet. He's going to let these two guys fight. I don't blame him. That's a smart move. Oh, my goodness. John Robb waiting. Big discus clothesline puts Hunter King down into the mat. Uh-oh. Another clothesline. Oh, boy. John Robb might be in for it. No, reversal. And a shot. He's got him up and slams him down. That back body into a side slam. Slaps the hand away from Hunter King. This, oh boy, here we go. He's got Hunter King up. Last ride power bomb. Into the pin. Ventura's slow making it to his feet. One, two. Oh, Hunter King kicks out of that last ride power bomb. Big shots to the midsection and a knee, bicycle knee to John Robb. And now Ventura's looking to steal the win. And a one count. Hunter King had a little too much time to rest to be pinned there. Nice kick to the midsection. Another kick into the pump handle. Holy cow, that pump handle face buster. And Hunter King looks to take it. Oh, nice shot there. Flying for him and John Robb's gonna quickly get down and try to steal it away. 
Ew, man, backbreaker to Hunter King. Oh, went for a, a that spinning back elbow and it didn't land. Reversal, though, to Hunter King and a big right hand puts him down. But Ventura comes out of nowhere and takes everybody out. One, just a one count. Holy cow. Nice reversal from John Robb. He goes for a knee and takes out the beast. And goes for the pin. Hunter King slides in. Just a one count, though. Takes him out with a clothesline. Double stomp. Double foot stomp there. Hunter King now looking to steal it. One count there is Ventura and John Robb sitting straight up in the center of the ring. Nice European uppercut. Shot to Hunter King into a German suplex. Spin him on a round and turns him inside out with a clothesline. Jeez, that clothesline is just flattened John Robb for the second time. And a two count though. The Savage not looking to give it up. Not looking to take a loss at the hands of the Beast. Ventura pulls him away from the ropes and goes for the pin on Hunter King. Two, no. My goodness. Face first goes the Beast and Hunter King now looking to just try to get out of this match. Two count. John Robb quickly back up to his feet. Hunter King with those 12 to 6 elbows right across the collarbone of the Beast. And John Robb just letting him battle it out. Nice strategy there. Turning Hunter King inside out. Does Ventura and he misses the... Oh, nope. Catches him at the last second with the drop kick. Goes for the pin on John Robb. I don't think that's going to be enough. And the only man standing is the Beast Ventura. He drags John Robb up to his feet. Big right hand. He's going to... Oh, just throw him out of the ring. And follow him. Hunter King dragging himself up. Oh, misses the right hand. Hunter King sends the beast out and follows him with a vaulting body press. What a move by Hunter King. Uh-oh. Went for that spinning kick. And Ventura reverses it. Big shot. And, oh, my goodness. Big slam by Ventura. John Robb making it to his feet on the other side. Shot to the face. Here comes John Robb. Pele kick. And it looked like John was going for a forearm shot and missed due to the Pele kick. Hunter King in control now. Big clothesline as I say that. You do have to win this match up in the ring. Face first into the turnbuckle. And Hunter King is busted open. While there are no count outs, no disqualifications in a triple threat match, you do have to win inside the ring. John Robb's got Hunter King up and a big right hand, no. Hunter King with the DDT and the pin right in front of Ventura. Two. What is Ventura doing? Hunter King gets a victory after the DDT. Holy cow. What a matchup. Busted up and bloody. He gets one over on the Savage and the Beast. Nice matchup and a wonderful victory for the season of Hunter King. Great job by that man right there. Well, now we have got our main event of the evening and the Maverick Championship seems to have taken hold of that spot. Jay Wolf, your Maverick champion and the holder of the Lone Star Championship briefcase as they have uh, been linked. But after this situation will be split. 
will be split once Jay decides to cash in. Um, then we will decide how we will handle all these situations. Jay Wolf, your Maverick champion and the holder of that briefcase. He can cash that in anytime that he wants. He is fired up. Jay Wolf, the most wins here in SWF. Uh, nine matches. He has one loss to Seb Abbott, and that happened um, the night before Southern Stampede, but in the end it didn't matter. Seb Abbott, your former Maverick champion, as he was given that title as it uh, was created out of the defunct television and internet championships. Seb was the last to hold the television championship last season, given that Maverick championship this season, but won at Gold Rush by Jay Wolf and has held it ever since. Kid Hades. Working his way up, going after Jay Wolf. This man wants that Maverick Championship, wants Worthy. Uh, when he was taking on Calypso so many times last season and couldn't get a grasp on the, the championship there, he then deemed himself unworthy, went after Leo McKay, won his rivalry and, and matches against Leo McKay. Worthy once again. And now he's here, ready to face off against Jay Wolf. And that thin red line, he will get a shot at the Maverick Championship. Kid Hades has waited a long time for that, that opportunity. And he's finally gonna get it. Unfortunately, he has got to face off against the biggest man in SWF. And this is starts off quick. Oh my goodness. Torture Rack into just dumping him on the ground. And look at the strength of Jay Wolf. Jay Wolf may never lose this title. He may never lose this championship. Picking Kid Hades up straight off the ground and then dropping him face first into the mat. Jeez Louise. Give this man a break. Three times in a row, so high, dropping him, dropping him down. That big bicycle knee doesn't knock Jay Wolf to the mat. As I said, he's the biggest, biggest man in SWF, and another bicycle knee not putting him down. Roundhouse kick, kick to the midsection. Kid Hades throwing everything he's got at Jay Wolf. Look at this, big kick to the face. Back in the ring goes Kid Hades. Yeah. He's a little bigger than you, brother. You're going to have to use those legs. Uh-oh. Huge frying pan shot right across the chest of Kid Hades. And again, Jay Wolf has got him up. Torture rack position flat on his back. That can't feel good. Chest first is one thing. Right on the back is another. Headbutt knocking Kid Hades down. Jeez, Jay Wolf just laying, bringing the thunder on the Kid Hades. Son, you're going to have to summon the demon, that's for sure. You're going to have to bring the fire out in you. Okay, that's how you do that. Big kick right to the face, knocking the champion down. Drop kick to the lower back. Kid Hades definitely, well, using those legs. Gorilla Press into a power slam. Puts Hades down onto the mat. Oh, nice reversal. DDT by Hades. Anytime you get picked up by Jay Wolf, who the hell knows what's going to happen. Spinning into a clothesline, though. Look at this. Spinning power slam from Jay Wolf. And again, just picking this man up. Like he's nothing. And dropping him down chest first as Hades grabs his whole entire midsection. Wolf going down for the pin, two count. Holy cow. I think the only way Wolf 
loses this title is if he gives it up himself. Nice reversal, though, from Hades. It, oh, I was going to say it doesn't matter. Reversal there. Hades has got the big man up. Go to Hades, Cutter, to Jay Wolf. That might be it. Is this going to put the champ away as Hades finally gets him over for the pin? Two. Oh, my God, Kid Hades. Kid Hades stole the victory from the Maverick champion with that go to Hades cutter. All those kicks made a difference, and yeah, Jay Wolf is pissed. We got to go. Join us next time for Revolver. Dear God, somebody stop this.